Good morning, this is Dr. Nancy Johnson. Friday evening, bar results came out in California. If you're one of the people who got the kind of letter you didn't want to get, then we need to talk about how to use that letter to increase your chances on the next attempt. And that is precisely what you can do with that letter. Let's talk about your scores and what that letter tells you about how to use those scores. It has a little equation in the letter that lets us work backwards and figure out what kind of score you needed to have on the written portion of the exam to be at what would be a passing level if all you were taking was the written, as attorneys frequently do. You know that you need a scaled score of 1390 on the entire exam. If you're taking the general bar exam, that means a 1390 on the total score, including the MBE and the written. But let's just look at the written for now, as if you needed to be at that pass line on that part of the exam. To perform at the pass level on the February 2023, California bar exam, you needed a total raw written score of 428.64 points. It varies a little bar to bar because of the way the scaling works, but that would be the raw total that would bring you up to that 1390 level on just the written portion of the exam. So the first piece of information for you personally is to look at whether you were above that level of performance or below it. Next, look at your MBE scaled score. And that will be four digits. So that should be 1390 or higher in order to be at the passing level of performance on that multiple choice part of the bar. If you were above it, that's great. If you were below 1390, what does that mean? How many items short were you? Well, NCBE used to tell the bars what the scaling meant. In other words, what number of items right that scaled score meant, what the raw score performance was for that scaled score. But they haven't done that for quite a few years. So the best advice we can give you about that four-digit score is to take that and move the decimal point over to the left one point. So if you had a score of, say, 1270, move the decimal point over one and you see 127. That 127 tells you how many items away you were from a 139, which would be a 1390 scaled score if we're looking at it this way. Move the decimal point one point over and then subtract that from 139. If you got a 1270, then that means you were about 12 items shy of what you needed to be at a passing level of performance on the multiple choice. That's the best estimate we can come up with for that MBE scaled score. So that tells you how hard you have to work at the MBE. Now you can look at the individual uh, percentile scores in the subjects to see if one or two of your subjects are way below what the national average was. But the next thing we'd like you to look at in that score letter is your PT score. Was your performance test score above a 61.2 or below it? Because the quickest way you can improve your written score is to improve your performance test score. It counts twice what any individual essay counts. So think about the cushion that could give you if you raised that PT score by five points. If you raise your score on the PT, by five points, then you've just added 10 points as far as raw score total goes. 
that PT is really crucial. So if your performance is below 61.2 on that performance test, that's a place to put a lot of work, a lot of practice. The final thing we'd like you to look at in that score letter is your score range on the essays. Did you get any score of 65 or 70? If you did, then that shows us that your essay technique is probably OK and that we just need to beef up your ability to handle the essays in other subjects. So how do you look at the, the essay score in conjunction with the MBE score? If your MBE score is quite low and your essay scores are also low, then that would suggest to us that there are gaps in your knowledge and understanding of the law and that you should work a lot more released essays, practice essays, like are in our essay bank in Power Law. And in that way, push yourself to be able to apply the law accurately in each of the subjects. You really don't know what you don't know until you run up against it in an exam question and you find that you're not interpreting the law correctly. So this, this always involves practice at doing the actual tasks of the bar rather than just sitting there staring at outlines again. That's probably the least effective thing you can do. If your MBE score is up there and your essay scores are not, they're down, then this is probably more a matter of being able to issue spot and organize an answer to an essay. And that would suggest going back to basics on bar style essays and how to craft an answer in one hour that will give you a higher score. Now, the other thing we really should talk about for a minute is the effect this letter had on you and continues to have on you. You feel every emotion in the book getting a letter like this. Embarrassment, anger, a real sense of loss and grieving. And all of those emotions, maybe even up to depression, get in the way of getting started. So what I want to say to you really strongly is that if you feel like you put everything you had into preparing for this bar and that that means that you can't do it, then I'm going to tell you that you're absolutely wrong about that. That when you start preparing for the next try at the bar, you're starting from a higher plateau you don't go all the way back down to where you were before. You start from a higher plateau and you build even stronger skills so that you do better on the next attempt. You need an organized body of law in your mind when you go into that bar exam and you need the skills to deal with the multiple choice items and the essays and the performance test. And this is entirely doable. You have plenty of time before the next bar exam to improve your skills, improve your knowledge and understanding of the law, and knock it out of the park on the next one. If you're sitting there telling yourself, I can't do this, I failed this one, how could I pass the next one, then I'm going to remind you that you graduated from a college, you went to a law school, you got all the way through law school and got your law degree, you have a history of success. This will be another piece of your history of success after you give it another try. If you need help from us, then we have several resources available. We have the videos we have put on YouTube that walk you through essay fact patterns. And actually, we put our entire series of property law videos up on YouTube. 
we have a power law program. If you go to our website and you look at power law, there's a power law pro which includes unfolding schemas of the law that are really effective at organizing law for you if you do not already have your own tight, effective organization of the law in all of the subjects. Power Law Pro includes that software platform. Power Law Basic does not, but both Power Law programs include videos reviewing every one of the subjects and a bank of past essays and either our model answers using those schemas or our verbal debriefs of the hypotheticals, as well as several other things in power law that are suggestions for how to approach multiple choice, how to work PTs. And if you feel like you need more intense involvement with us, including voice annotated feedback on your essay answers, there are grading packages and course programs that involve simulated bar exam days all of which you'll find through that website, www.barsecrets.com. This next try can get you across that pass line, but use that letter and use it effectively. Be very strategic about it. Look at where your weaknesses are. Know that all you need is a total score of 1390. So if you can ace the written, then you can afford to be a bit below the pass line on the multiple choice. But you can't make up for an abysmally low multiple choice score, like 20 items low, by getting a higher written score. It's diminishing returns. You need to be at least in the ballpark on both parts of the exam in order to pass this thing. And you can do that. You have already demonstrated your success in multiple other ways. Let's just do this one.